It's no surprise that drama follows you everywhere when you're a K-pop star. Today, we will be looking over what news Hyona announced and how it shocked not only her fans, but the K-pop world. We will also look at whether GOT7 supports JB on his next journey or not, and if there's really tea between Jessie and SM Entertainment. Without wasting more of your time, let's get into it. With everything going on right now, it's hard to keep up with some minor yet still important issues. We have to applaud Hayes for bringing awareness to the battle that women are still fighting. During the interview part of the KBS2 music program Yu Hi Yo Sketchbook, MC and composer Yu Hi Yo asked Hayes about the moments where she feels that she had indeed succeeded, and Hayes' answer was heart melting. Hayes replied, When I stack up on sanitary pads, I feel some kind of reassurance from it and quite satisfied. She continued on to say, Pads are of great necessity for women, and it should be normal for you to use as much as you need without worrying about wasting it, but even as a student who received $10 a day for my allowance, I couldn't even buy one pack of sanitary pads. They are extremely expensive. Hayes stated, This category of necessity should not pressure me to save money on it, but I unintentionally end up being skimpy on my purchases of sanitary pads. It's something I constantly need, but I have a hard time purchasing them without having a lot of thoughts. She also said, I created a sanitary pads kit and donated them. I plan to continue donating them. Many medicine also commented on the issue and agreed with Hayes, saying that such a necessity should be affordable for everyone. And we here on Cookie Lit totally love idols who keep reminding others of these important issues. Go and support Hayes, because she obviously freaking deserves it. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for Hollywood stars to be associated with K-pop celebrities. Even if they do, it's a priceless moment for everyone. This time is no exception. Stray Kids paid homage to Deadpool a few days ago when they performed a Deadpool-themed set set on Mnet's idol competition show Kingdom. Soon after, Ryan Reynolds, the Deadpool star, replied to a tweet about the idols group's success and even liked the post. Following this, Ryan Reynolds sent a message to Stray Kids on Twitter saying, Two things. First, I have your autograph right here, Bang Chan. We'll send it to you this week. Second, as a new Stray Kids fan, can I get an autograph? Hashtag new favorite Australian. Ryan Reynolds sent a picture of a bottle of Aviation American Gin dedicated to Bang Chan along with his autograph. Ryan Reynolds revealed in the post that he had become a fan of Stray Kids and that he wanted to give Bang Chan a small gift. He ended the message by requesting an autograph in exchange. Bang Chan responded to Ryan Reynolds' tweet a few hours later, saying, I also have two things. First, an autograph for you, already on its way, along with some other goodies that might suit the red suit. Second, sorry real Hugh Jackman, hashtag the new favorite Australian. Bang Chan is seen holding an album signed with his autograph for Big Brother Ryan. Bong Chan's tweet was also retweeted by another Hollywood star, making fans laugh and attract their attention. The clever tweet also referred to Ryan Reynolds' long feud with the actor Hugh Jackman. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman have been having a friendly feud with each other with frequent back and forth for some time now, and that's why Hugh reacted with, No worries, Bong Chan. I just worry for stray kids now that Van City Reynolds is a fan. He can be a lot. Gotta watch out for my fellow Aussies. Hi, Felix. He also sent his greetings to member Felix, showing that he was familiar with Stray Kids. I still can't believe this interaction happened. Are we living in a simulation? Now for some news that will surely make you jump up from your seat. Queen Hyona decided to bless her fans with the most unexpected news ever. And no, she is not pregnant. At least not yet. Hyona is set to release her first full-length album after 14 years of her being being in the K-pop entertainment world. Psy revealed in Rolling Stone Korea that Hyona's working really hard right now. She's going to be releasing a full-length album. She's never released a full-length album before as a solo artist. Psy also added, Oh, and this is a mini spoiler, but Don and Hyona will be releasing a song together sometime this year. Although Hyona has been in the entertainment industry for 14 years, she has never got this chance and she fully deserves it. Hyona's past discography mainly consists of EPs and singles. This is such exciting news, and fans are over the moon. One fan tweeted, She deserves it so much. Good for her. I personally can't wait for the drop, and trust me, you will be able to catch me streaming the album all day, because who doesn't love the one and only Hyona, am I right? Nobody does it like her, and K-pop would never be the same without her amazing performing skills. 
It was recently announced that GOT7's JB had signed with j Pox record label Higher Music. The label posted a special interview with the two musicians as a gift to fans. j Pox asked JB how the people around him, especially his fellow GOT7 members, reacted when he told them he was signing with Higher Music. JB admitted that they were initially skeptical of the decision, which surprised j Pox. They did congratulate me because I was trying to make the best choice for myself. They've seen me go back and forth with this decision many times, JB said. After GOT7 decided not to resign from JYP Entertainment, JB was one of the last members to find a new home. The members were concerned that he would change his mind again as a result of this. JB continued, They congratulated me, but were uncertain at the same time because of me. Fortunately for GOT7, JB seems to be in good hands with a label that wants him to succeed as a solo artist while still shining in the group. Apart from JB signing with Higher Music, there's news circulating about Bam Bam's first solo album release, and the reason behind his album being a comeback and not a solo debut was also revealed. Bam Bam has just announced his first solo album, which will be released in mid-June. Agassiz noticed that he referred to it as a comeback rather than a solo debut. In a recent live broadcast, Bam Bam explained his reason and his response was both rational and touching. He had this to say about his upcoming solo album Ribbon and his first solo in Korea, If you look at the whole thing, it's not my first solo. He previously released a solo OST for the Thai film The Con Hardest at the end of last year, a collaboration song Do You with Thai rapper F Hero in 2019, and a solo song Party in GOT7's 2018 album Present You. As a result, Bam Bam explained that he thought it was more fitting to use the term comeback rather than solo debut because this isn't his first solo project. Plus, since GOT7 isn't over, he claims there's no need for him to make his debut. And you know, I'm already in GOT7. Why would I debut again? Bam Bam stated. The GOT7 members really have a lot on their plate, and all we can do right now is wish them the best on their journey. One last thing that I really want to talk about is the difference between SM Entertainment and P Nation. It's no news that SM Entertainment has always been on the stricter side of treating their artists, while it's the opposite for P Nation. Joy from Red Velvet was the most recent guest on Jesse's solo show, Showderview with Jesse. The two got along very well, but Jesse soon found some significant guests gaps between how the two agencies operated. Joy is signed to SM Entertainment, while Jesse is signed to size label P Nation. The first thing Jesse realized was that Joy was surrounded by many employees who were constantly watching what she was doing. The team seemed to be continually writing stuff down, whether it was, Joy said this, or Joy is about to burst into tears, Jesse joked. SM Entertainment, in particular, is known for its strict rules regarding the appearance of its artists. On the other hand, P Nation is thought by fans to give their artists more independent than other companies. Jesse just mentioned smoking. Would it be okay? Joked co-host Jo Jung Sik after Jesse found out that the staff possibly wrote down that Jesse mentioned quitting smoking. Jesse then emphasized how unique it was for her because the staff is completely different. They never pay attention to me. They're playing around with my puppy. Jesse referred to how P Nation employees were paying more attention to her puppy rather than her. I do need to mention that this was more of a joke and that Jesse had nothing but love and support for amazing Joy. A fan tweeted, You can tell Jesse is really taking care of Joy or being careful, but this Showderview vibes is so different. It's more caring, like calm vibes I get. I'm so thankful for Jesse. While another fan tweeted, maybe Jesse is right about how SM monitors what their artists say. Well, I think it's actually necessary for an agency, and maybe that's why SM artists, NCT, don't use earphones during fan signs. Hmm, this really makes you think about what's true and what's not. Well, this is it for this video, and I can't wait to see if you guys are excited for Hyona's new album, and if you support JB's decision to join Higher Music and whether you agree with Jesse or not. But until next time, take care and bye!